Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys my propagation tray or what's left of it. <laughs> so at one point um, I had a lot more propagation in this tray but I had repotted, uh, taken some out, repotted or potted them up, given them as gifts and um, since then I've been sort of like randomly um, plugging things in here. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, the difference between some of the, the the babies that I've propagated through leaves. And a lot of these are not um, propagation per se because they actually are just kind of um, heads of, you know, succulents that gave me problems that I had to um, behead and put the, the uh, plant the heads in here um, to help them root. Some of them are leaf propagations. Others are cuttings that I got for free. And just like, uh, it's just smorgs board of uh, stuff. <laughs> Sorry, um, still sick. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So let's see if I can do my round of stuff. So on the far right corner here, um, the ones that look fairly big, um, that is my mystery succulent. Um, I had featured a, a, a video on my mystery succulent. I have still don't know, uh, still don't know what they're called. Um, I was given a bunch of these uh, and I propagated them and they were very easy to propagate. Um, well, you know what? I shouldn't say it was easy because it did take several months. I did it in the winter inside um, under gold light. So um, it took a good amount of time, probably because it was in the winter and under grow light. Um, but once it hit spring, it... Um, exploded as you can see it is quite big now and to be fair i don't know what's going on with with the ones on the the top right corner here you see some that are like i want to say it almost looks like something ate the leaves as you can see one of them has like a weird bite looking mark i can't imagine what would have come here to take a bite out of it it just doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> but um so a lot of these propagations or are, are, are whatnot that I sort of kind of you know did them as a test and um it's you know what they say in these channels uh, I, I, I'm not I'm not a much of a skeptic or, or or I don't you know get suspicious often but I just needed to I just figured I'd try it myself because I need it for just to gain like experience um so it's true when they say that you pot things up in a in a um in a bigger sort of uh tray or um pot or whatnot it does grow um bigger faster um because i mean they say it's the extra uh, nutrients so the one over there on the right corner like if you compare the size to the one in the nursery pot, they were all sort of, um, let me move this, they were all um, propagated at the same time. And there is a good size difference. The so one uh, in the nursery pot, it's a, I believe an inch and a half or two. Um, it is smaller. And the ones here in this corner, um, they're they're sort of growing really fast and i feel like i'm like stunting their growth right now because there's not enough space in between these uh, i did like move them out move some out to give them more space to see if they would grow even bigger and they did grow bigger and they sort of like filled in all the gaps um so yeah so in a bigger tray with a lot more um and in potting soil uh more than sort of like a cactus mix with more gritty mix um they do grow faster and they grow um 
you know, bigger. So um, let's see, I'm going to show you another, these two over here, one, two. Those are uh, propagation from my, um, <clears throat> some leaves that my sister-in-law gave me. And same one here. And there's the mother leaf is still there, one, two, three. So I really do need to repot this real soon. In this case, size-wise, you can see the ones here, the leaves are bigger. But they were propagated at the same time and they all like, um popped up at the same time let's see if i could dig up some pictures and show you guys now i have some remnants here the other stuff um my uh, i showed a video of how i killed my uh cream tea my beautiful big sort of almost like a bonsai um tree um this is what's left of it i have some other cuttings um, since then, the cuttings, some of them have, more of them have died. Um, hopefully, I feel like I, I actually uh, potted three in a, I'm going to do a little quick, three in a, in a little terracotta pot here. These actually uh, started rooting. That's why I put them in here. Um, hopefully, I can at least save these three because... I had so many and uh, of the cuttings that I was trying to save, but most of them died, unfortunately. So hopefully I can save at least those. And <clears throat> this right here is a, a baby finger. Um, it's sort of like one day it was like raining all day and um, I went in to check uh, my succulents and it just was black. On the bottom so I was able to cut the head off um, and I haven't looked at it I just kind of like planted in here hoping that the head would uh, root and then I can save it um, it looks super wrinkly I do see a little bit of white roots on the side I don't know if you guys could see it um, yeah there's some like roots growing out here but yeah, I don't know. We'll see about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as I was looking at my propagation, I have a small sort of a ladder a shelf thing with my little nursery pots. Um, and I discovered this just now. I swear to you, it was fine yesterday, but now it's not. And this is what happens in the summer. So it was doing really well. This is one of my cuttings from my, um, I believe, blue, uh, blue elf. I had a big plant that had, uh, it came with pests and I had, I saved it and the, the main body is okay. And this is one of the cuttings that I didn't have space for in the pot. So I put it in the nursery and it was doing well. But once again, it rained quite a lot, like for a day and a half. And then, this is, it was okay yesterday. At least I didn't notice this yesterday. But today it's like this. It's definitely rotted. I don't, I think this one is a fauna. I don't think I can save this. So, this is what happens when I guess, I did water, I think it got rained on. I don't think I watered this. It got rained on and it must have just not dried out because it was under. A lot of times I put that ladder shelf under my other shelf and it just, just doesn't get enough sun. I forget to move it out. Um, this is what happens when you have more than you can handle. Um, I do have more than 100. Um, and uh, I was traveling for several days and of course I had my parents watching over. But uh, my mom uh, is not a huge succulent you know, uh, expert. So... Yeah, um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't ask her to, she was already looking after my dog, so I couldn't ask her to look after my plants too, just, just the bare minimum for their survival, <laughs> just cover them when it rains, you know, put out the sunshade if it gets too sunny, um, but anyway, um, there's a, I can't get into all of these, but I will get into this one, this came to me as a free cutting, um, and I put one of the and they were about the same size. I put 
one in a I planted it in a pot and this I planted in in the in this tray and this one got so much bigger than the other one I'm gonna actually go bring the other one so look at the difference you guys so they came to me as the same size and one was potted in in the tray the other one in the in the pot look at the size difference this one kind of actually exploded not too long ago i noticed maybe like a month ago and i was like whoa all of a sudden it got really big this one did was bigger but it lost like the the bottom leaf started turning yellow and it lost um it lost a lot of the leaves but it's since then i mean they're supposed to be dormant in the summer so um i do believe these are aeonium pinwheel i don't remember the scientific name but i think it is the aeonium pinwheel um so i wanna I, it, obviously this has rooted because they came to me without roots it was a free gift from one of the purchases um so i'm sure it rooted now because you know it's clearly exploded so i'm gonna pot it into a pot real soon um what else oh in here the let me remove the tray this is the 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 what is this the ghost plant yeah ghost plant that was a grown from um beef propagation I'm trying to see i'll show you the that's look at even the color difference this looks to me a much sort of healthier and and um more plump and the color is more pink um versus this one size wise i feel like they're kind of similar or actually hmm. yeah these leaves are more pointier and skinnier than these these are a little bit more like plump and shape wise i feel like this is a lot prettier than this this for some reason i feel like it's just gotten like leggy and just sort of ugly i know it's mean why it just kind of it needs more meat maybe it just i don't know i don't know but i feel like these probably a lot of the propagations that i have they just kind of get ignored on the shelf i don't know it's terrible but yeah that's the difference this definitely i feel like in my eyes is just a lot more prettier and just doing more healthier not as leggy the colors coming in it's all yeah so that's it for my propagation i do have more and i can show you guys more later um but i think that's it for today Thanks for watching. Bye now.